What is up everybody on YouTube, Max Rock here with another video and uh, just want to let you guys know, uh, of course, you can see I got a new tripod here and I'm putting it to use and I'm recording this video here with the J7 and excuse me for looking back and forth directions here, I should be looking at the camera but I'm just making sure the shot is good but it seems to me that this actually records at an angle here, I can't get it all the way flat, not flat but level if that makes any sense to have a video looking the way I want to look it, but anyway, I'm doing this video here because I want to show you guys that I just picked up something for the J7, and by the way, I got this J7 from Metro PCS, it's free with a port in, um, I think the price is, a, I just know the price is a lot higher than what I paid for, because I walked out the door already paying for the plan, which is a 50 hour plan, and I actually plan on unlocking this phone, I'm already in the process of doing it, I just got to wait for the okay. And uh, I'm going to permanently unlock it so I can use it on Cricut. But I currently do have the $50 unlimited plan with Metro. So I'm probably going to use that plan for the entire month just to test their network and uh, do a couple little speed comparisons between the networks of Cricut and uh, Metro. Even though Cricut does cap their speeds at 8 megs down or 8 megabits down, um, you'd be surprised how it can still hang with uh, Metro PCS. And also, the thing about Metro PCS is I noticed that sometimes, although they don't say it, some of their speeds, you know, some of their tests, the makeup is down be along the lines of cricket. It's kind of interesting though, but that'll be a whole nother video. But anyway, what this video is about is this here. True Glass Pro screen protector kit. And this is for, as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy J7. If that say that right. Oops. <laughs> the Samsung Galaxy J7. If this is the wrong way, give me a pass because still getting used to this whole little thing here. And I did not pay this price for it. Oops. Did it again. I had to pay nowhere near that price for it. I'm not even sure why it would be 40 bucks, but yeah. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and apply the screen protector. Now, the thing about it is, because I'm shooting the video with the J7, I'm not sure how well it will work with, uh, well, uh, I'm not sure how well it will work. Um, well, speaking of which, I did see some reviews saying that this screen protector might not actually work so well. Um, I think it actually, it's a two, it's a, it's a two pack too. So it says it's impact resistant, uh, impact protection, scratch proof, anti smudges and high definition. We'll see all about that. But um, what I'm going to do is switch the phones here. I'm going to go from this video over to the Alcatel video. And you see my reflection. I'm going to go from this phone camera to this phone camera. And I want you guys to see the difference. See if you see a difference. Because I know I, I know I will see a difference because I record this phone all the time. So um, you will hear a difference in the audio. You'll see a, dif a difference in the video quality. And the whole purpose of the video is to show you me putting on the screen protector for the J7. So, with video magic, the next thing you should see is me with the screen protector on the J7. All right. So what's up, you guys? All I did was just switch the cameras here. This is now recording with the Alpha Title 3. And here you can see, this is the Samsung Galaxy J7 in my hand. And so what I'm doing now is Getting ready to open this up here. I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible. Well, okay. This is unlike any packaging I've seen for a screen protector. But there you go. So, as you see, here's the contents inside here. Um, I guess this is the smudge or the hair bubbles out this little piece here. Um, hair. Hair removal, care you more. Whatever that means. Um, so let me go ahead and get this out of here. Very nice presentation. You get it. Thanks. So this is the first time this ever happened. Your usual books and shit. With the screen protection. But it makes sense. Got a cleaner wipe, microfiber cloth, and shit to get the dust off. Dust removal system. Don't need that at all. Go ahead and put this back in here. 
And I'm just being lazy, guys. I didn't feel like moving over there in this direction. So I'm just going to do this right here. As quickly as possible. Because I didn't want this video to be 10 minutes. Because I don't want to put on screen for too long. But whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and get this white here. And give you a big fucking white, too. Like, Jesus Christ. How big is fucking white? Damn, this is bigger than a white alcohol wipe you get in a goddamn doctor's office or a clinic or something. Anywho, let's go ahead and get this off. And I will have a 48 hour impression for the J7. This is the first time I own the J7. This is actually the first Samsung phone I had in quite a while. And uh, the hype that everyone was giving it was, was all well and due. Because this phone is nothing short than good. And plus, this phone here has the XDNOS processor. So it performs extremely well. I think this is my first Samsung phone with the XDNOS processor. And when I tell you I can tell the difference, I can because you can just look at simple things like the way applications open. That's all I have to do with animation, but you can tell when a phone, you can tell the difference between a Snapdragon Galaxy or a Samsung phone. In a uh, XNS one, so there we go. So we got that clean there. Now I'm pretty sure applying this screen protector is just like any of them. You peel off. Wait, which side you peel off first? So that's when you pull off this side first, and you align it here. Quite simple. And I just, I just realized now that this video is just going to turn into something that you guys can watch if you want. Because it's not going to really be too helpful. I'm proud of the progress. The only thing I care about is that the home button is aligned. Sitting in. All right. So we applied that there with no air bubbles left over. And I can tell immediately that um that this here things aren't too bright. You see that there? The screen protector itself actually covers the camera. So I already tell that's not supposed to be it's not supposed to be like that. But anywho, it is covering the device for now, so I will have to get another one pretty soon. But uh, that's going to be the end of this video here. This is a five minute part. Um, turns out the video turned into almost ten minutes long. And that was not the intention at all. So, um, yeah, go ahead and just in here. So as you guys know, my name is Max Sarah. I want to say, of course, thank you for watching the video. You guys have a good day. Peace.